Order. Question number six, Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, my question to the Minister of Civil Defence. What support is the government providing to communities affected by the severe storm and flooding event of 18 to 21 June? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Nikki Kaye. Mr Speaker, the government is contributing significant support to areas affected by the storm. At the moment, the government's general support includes deployment of staff from the Ministry of Civil Defence and Emergency Management to provide on-the-ground advice and support, reimbursement of local authorities for response and recovery costs, such as accommodating, transporting uh, food and clothing for displaced residents and repairing essential infrastructure, welfare assistance such as hardship grants through the Ministry of Social Development, police assistance with security and rural re reconnaissance, support to repair and clear state highways. Our thoughts are with the families and people affected by the severe storm and floods. Thank you. So, a supplementary question in McKelvey. What is the current situation in some of the affected areas? Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, I can confirm that a, a state of local emergency has been lifted for Rangatiki. States of local emergency for Whanganui and Taranaki will remain in place until assessments have been undertaken. From the advice I have had in talking with local mayors, I can confirm that in Whanganui, damage assessments are underway in the hope that some people will be able to return uh, to their homes from tomorrow. The river is continuing to recede. Building inspections are underway in Waitotara. Fonterra and Civil Defence are continuing to contact people and farmers in the region to assess their needs. A range of roading assessments are underway. Helicopters are dropping food and other essential supplies to isolated houses and getting people out who wish to leave. In Hokitika, 40 people have been evacuated and are in temporary accommodation. I'll be meeting with mayors tonight and tomorrow to understand their plans around residents who may be out of their homes for longer. Over the coming days, we will continue to get a clearer picture of the damage. Today, I had a call with mayors from affected regions to get an update on some of the smaller towns, and I will visit Martin tomorrow and meet with the Rangatiki mayor tonight. Speaker. A uh, supplementary question, Ian McKelvey. What additional support has been announced by the government? Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, a disaster relief fund has been activated for the Manawatu Whanganui region. Yesterday I announced the government will contrib contribute 250000 to that fund. We will contribute more if needed. I'm currently in discussions with the Mayor, Mayors in Taranaki and Westland about further funds and government contributions. Minister Tolley also announced yesterday an additional quarter of a million dollar package for Enhanced Task Force Green. This will provide funding to councils to employ job seekers to assist with cleanup and hire or purchase equipment and clothing to enable this to happen. Today, the Minister of Primary Industries, who is visiting the region, declared a medium-scale adverse event. Minister Guy has announced 100,000 for rural support trusts. The Ministry for Primary Industries and Ministry for Social Development will now assess the need for rural assistance payments. Over the next 24 hours, I'll be visiting Rangatiki, Whanganui, Waitotara and Martin to meet with local mayors, residents and people working on the recovery to ensure they know that this government is committed to helping communities get back on their feet. Question number seven, Dr David Clark. My question 